Welcome to Zoho Books, a powerful GST compliant financial platform designed for growing businesses. With Zoho Books, you can ensure all your business transactions are GST compliant. You can handle all your accounting needs such as managing sales, purchases, budgets and banking. You can have access to over 50 comprehensive business and GST reports and also file your GST returns directly from Zoho Books. In this video, we'll see how you can sign up for Zoho Books, set up your organization, get a brief overview about some of the sales and purchase transactions inside the application and set up your Zoho Books for accounting. Let's get started. To start off, you'll have to go to www.zoho.com books and click the sign up now button. Here, enter your company name, email address and create a password. Select your business location. Click here to agree to the terms and privacy policy and click create account. Next, enter all your organization details such as the company address and so on. Enable the box, this business is registered for GST and enter your GST number. Click get started. You can set up your organization by configuring these accounts. That's it, your organization is all set up. You will get a verification email in your registered email address from where you can confirm your account. After signing up, you will be logged into the dashboard which shows the financial health of your business. On the left sidebar, you can find all the different modules in Zoho Books. Let's take a brief look at each of them. Under Items, you can add all the goods and services that you provide in your business. For example, if your company is selling laptops to customers, you can add them as goods or if your company charges customers for any services like legal advice, housekeeping or doctor's appointment, you can add them as services here. In the banking module, you can connect your bank account, import bank statements, match transactions and also reconcile your accounts. Next, you have the sales module. Here, you can add the customers that you deal with in your business. Then you can create and send them estimates for the items you wish to sell them. If you receive any advance payments from them, you can record them as retainer invoices. In addition, you can create and send sales orders to them. And you can also create invoices once items are finalized for sale. Under payments received, you can keep track of all your payments you receive from your customers. You can also create recurring invoices to be sent on a timely basis and also store your customer's credit in form of credit notes. Now, let's see the purchases module. Here you can add the vendors through whom you purchase your items and also the expenses and recurring expenses incurred for your business activities. You can create and keep track of all your purchase orders and bills here. In addition, you can track all the payments made to your vendors through Payments Made. You can add your recurring bills here and also track any credits from your vendor through Vendor Credits. With a Time Tracking module, you can handle project accounting and keep track of all your projects. You can also log time by different users under Timesheet, which can later be used for billing. If you enable the eBay Bill section from the settings, you can access it here. An eBay Bill is an electronically generated document necessary for the movements of goods within the state or outside the state. Moreover, you can generate and file your GST returns such as a GSTR1, GSTR2, GSTR2B, GSTR3B, and GSTR9 directly from here. In the Accountant module, you can view your manual journals, bulk update the account associated in transactions, and also make currency adjustments. Under Chart of Accounts, you can find the default list of accounts in Zoho Books and also add any additional account if you wish. Next, you can create budgets for the various business activities of your business and get a glimpse of how your business is performing. And finally, you have transaction locking, which helps you to prevent you and your users from making any changes that may affect your accounts for a certain period of time. Under reports, you can generate business reports like profit and loss, balance sheet, and cash flow statements and get the real-time insights needed to optimize your business. In the taxes section, you can also view various GST reports, tedious summary reports, and form number 27EQ report. You can choose to schedule reports, share them securely with your team, and also export them to your system. Here you can store all your documents in one place. 
you can enable the auto scan option so that all the uploaded documents will be auto scanned and transactions can be created. Now that you have a basic understanding of the modules in Zoho Books, let's explore the settings where you can view additional preferences for your organization. Under organization profile, you can add all your organization details. Next, you can add your opening balances. You can add users and set up different roles for them. If you have multiple branches for your organization, you can add them here. Under preferences, you can configure various business settings and also enable invoicing, wherein B2B invoices are digitally prepared in an e-invoicing format and authenticated by the GSTM. Additionally, you can set up your taxes and e-way bills. You can also set up templates, configure various integrations and do a lot more in the settings section. Now that you have a basic overview of Zoho Books, let's look at a few basic steps to quickly set up your organization and start your accounting. First, you'll have to configure your chart of accounts. You can do this by going to the accountant section and selecting chart of accounts. Here, you will have a list of accounts and the corresponding account types. To add an additional account, you can click the plus new account button here. Choose the account type and enter the account name. Enter the account code and description and click save. Your account is now created. Now let's take a look at the GST settings. Go to settings and select taxes. Here, select the decide GST IN. You can edit the GST IN and choose the date on which you registered for GST. You can enable reverse charge in sales transactions and also choose if your business is involved in SEZs or overseas trading. Next, choose the account to track your custom duty and also mark this box if you wish to track sales of digital services to overseas customers. Then click save. If you have any additional taxes, you can add them under taxes and also group multiple taxes under tax groups. Moreover, if your business has any tax exemptions, you can add them in this section. Next, let's see how to add items, which are the goods and services that you sell or purchase for your business. To add a new item, you can click the plus icon next to items. Now enter the item name, unit, its HSN or SAC code, and you can choose if the item is taxable or not. Then enter its selling and cost price and select the respective accounts to track sales and purchases for this item. You can edit the default GST rates of this item here. Mark this box if you wish to track inventory for this item and select the corresponding inventory account, opening stock and opening stock rate per unit. Now you can save it. You can also choose to import your items from by clicking here. The import option can also be used for other modules such as customers, vendors and so on. Now it's time to add your customers. Go to sales and click the plus icon or the plus new customer button here. Enter the name of the customer, their company name, customer display name and contact information here. Here, choose the GST treatment of your customer. It can be a business that is registered under GST or registered under the composition scheme in GST or an unregistered business. It can also be a regular customer or an overseas customer with whom you do business. Additionally, this business can be located in a special economic zone or a SEZ. It can be deemed export or it can be a tax deductor. In addition to this, your customer could also be a SEZ developer who owns at least 26% of the equity in creating business under an SEZ. In this video, we'll select GST treatment as registered business. Next, enter the GST IN and click here to get the taxpayer details, which will be useful to fetch the GST details of the customer from the GSTN portal. The place of supply will be auto-populated based on the GST IN. And you can also choose if the customer is taxable or tax exempt. If the customer is tax exempt, you can enter the exemption reason here. Next, you can enter the opening balance credit limit, payment terms, and also choose to enable the client portal for them. Click here to add their billing and shipping addresses, contact persons, and other necessary details. Finally, you can enter their social profiles and click save. Similarly, you can add your vendors under the purchases module. To make sure your accounting is intact and continuous, you would need to introduce your opening balance. 
which you can get by running the trial balance report in your previous accounting software. After getting the report, go to Settings and click Opening Balances. You can follow the steps mentioned here by entering all your opening balances correctly. You can enter the migration date, which will be the date on which you generated the trial balance report in your previous accounting software while migrating to Zoho Books. You can import your accounts receivables for the amount you are yet to receive from your customer and accounts payable for the amounts that you're liable to pay. Under each of these categories, like assets and expenses, you will find the corresponding accounts where you can enter the debit and credit amounts. Enter the amount and continue. You can click here to import your opening balances. Click Confirm. Now that you've set up your opening balances, added your items and customers, let's see how to create your first invoice. Go to Sales and click the plus icon next to Invoices. Select the customer name. The place of supply will be auto-filled. The invoice number will be auto-generated. You can also choose to enter it manually by clicking the gear icon. Enter other details such as the invoice date, terms of payments and the due date. Next, add the items for this invoice and select the GST rates for the items. You can add any additional charges such as the TCS, which is an additional amount collected as tax by a seller from the buyer at the time of sales over and above the sales amount and is remitted to the government account. Add the customer note and terms and conditions of your business. Then save this invoice. You have successfully created your first invoice. You can integrate with any of the online payment gateways and receive payments seamlessly from your customers. When you mail your customers the invoice, they can directly pay you by clicking the pay now button. You can also choose to record payments from your customers manually. If there is any tax deducted at source, you can choose this option and fill in the corresponding details here. After the payment is recorded, the invoice status will be changed to paid. Now let's get back to the dashboard. Once you start creating transactions, you can view different business metrics here, such as your total receivables, total payables, the cash flow in your business, your income and expenses, your top expenses, projects that you're working on, bank and credit cards that you've added, and your account watch list. You can also view all the recent updates in Zoho Books by clicking here. If you use multiple Zoho Books organization, you can click here and switch to any of them. Hope you got a good understanding of Zoho Books. In the description below, we've added a link to access our 14-day trial where you can access all our features for free during the trial period. So make sure to check that out. We've also added a link to our help documentation where you can get a better understanding of all our features. That's it for now, folks. Have a great day. Thank you.